ending point essentially for you. Uh, and if you fail that, then game might be over. A lot of it, I think, just comes down to the quality of the teams and if they can pull off that timing. Um, and, you know, like te teams like Wings and stuff, they can do any strategy they want because their execution is just like perfect for a, you know, less experienced. Right now, guys, just uh, role play like these two European teams are playing on perfect world servers. Pile I die, tether away over to Puppy, is going to be able to make the escape away from Vanscore, but can he get away from Seedoy? No. He absolutely cannot. The spin's going to go down. Puppy will invis himself away, but it looks like the Voodoo Restoration... ...as soon as possible. So keeping out of, out of range of the spin and keeping him alive. He may have actually gone down. Uh, MP was able to get in range of the spin. MP will be able to get on top of Roger. It looks like they're okay with Chen dying. If they could just get a kill in return on Pylai Die. The last couple right clicks, a little bit more, and they've got him. A one-for-one one trade-off there. Support for support with the Chen creep still in lane. We Flipside continue to park this Chen at the bottom lane and just uh, taking the extra bit advantage of the hard creep camp that is available. Mid lane CS seems to be going uh, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like they got a juggernaut. How did they get a juggernaut kill? What the hell? They caught him farming this neutral camp. Flame haste so he can make a, a quick jump over to that bottom lane if Flipside stick around. Normally these aggro chai lanes. Oh, hold on, MP. Sounds up a little bit. Paralyzing cast. They get some damage out. MP is going to turn, trying to go on Vanscore with the help of Ferev, who's got the Ravage ready to go. They can easily get this kill, but maybe MP is going to die first. The nuke's not enough. Ferev now drops the Ravage. Witch Doctor still alive, but in the back line, looks like they close the distance with the Draw Ranger. Easily execute him. 1 2 and lead the Vanscore. Witch Doctor stuck in the trees for last and make it a three kill tri lane. 4 to 4 now. Six and a half minutes in. Secrets rotations even the game up. Yeah, it's exactly what they needed to do. Um, that haste turn really, really working out for them. Otherwise, it's sort of hard for him to get into position. A seeker doesn't have too uh, too good of setups, but Varev coming in with the gush, really nice rotation from him as well. Just uh, setting them up, getting the three kills, getting them back into the game, and threatening a kill on this Dragonite as well. They may be able to get this. Yeah, they just stay grouped up together, make the rotation across, and this is big. Uh, I mean, that rotation bottom lane obviously really offset. It's not really the kind of kills you can give up as a Dragonite. Being here with Snowball as he is, whenever you die like that early on, it's going to slow down his treads, it's going to slow down whatever item he goes for after. Maybe a Dragon, it's maybe a Shadow Blade, but... Oh, look at that damage. You said Ferev, he's going to go for the early level of Gush, and it's proving to get kill after. Late for the Tier 1 tower, and a bit too late to get the proper kind of initiation. MP is just going to go on a Van score with the spin, but again, the Voodoo Restoration makes the difference here. Tame My Wild, though, is still in trouble. He's gushed up on the Slash, brought down. Flipside will lose one of their cores, but still managed to get that Tier 1 tower. If he gets in range, it's definitely a free kill uh, with the Relocate, just f freshly acquired. And Cedo, he TP to the lane, so he has no free TP out. Uh, I think he's about to die. Yeah, Cedoy definitely not expecting this one. They're even going to TP the Marana in just as the extra bit of help. Clearly not needed, though. The Drill Ranger is brought low pretty easily. As a result, he's a pretty crucial one. So there are some bright spots in this. Timber is also a very farm, so it's going to have a good timing on his Bloodstone. But Timber, one up first, uh, there's a lot of heroes that have kill potential on him, unless he's ahead or at least in a position where he's very tanky. Oh. It doesn't do too well. Arrow. It nails Van's core, but the Voodoo Restoration is still enough to keep him alive against this spin. And now, the Silence on mid one, they're going to be able to bring him down. A very important kill. The wraparound from Roger won't catch anything more, but Flipside are score. Knowing that Flipside really, really can't contest him because he's got the Ravage ready to go. If they turn on Ferev, they're easily going to be able to get that kill. They actually came in from the behind, though. They do manage to nail Roger, though, uh, with an arrow. Bring him down. Puppy's going to be the trade-off, though. One for two so far. Flipside Tactics fighting it out with their cores. The Ravage is ready to go, though. It'll land on a two. They're going to focus down Tame My Wild first. He turns for Pylai Die, getting the stun. The Drone Ranger will pick up the kill, but the Timber Saw quick to fall. Sidoy now has to make an escape away from three secret heroes. That's just not going to happen. Happen. Secret win the fight, keep their off lane tower alive, and Secret will take the safe lane tower on top of everything else despite the laning fit. Would have pressure all three heroes and been uncontested, but a little bit of a, like you said, a tactical mistake. A small error from the flip side has led to so much more. Secret now have a mech. They're going to try and relocate in into the river here and fight this one out. MP just spins forward straight into the enemy team. Ferev is helping leading the way with a, bit, a little bit of a mech. They've got the stun, though, and the Juggernaut, they managed to bring him down. 
Nobody down from Flipside. They all looking healthy. Pups, puppy's going to get caught, looks like. No, he actually managed to get away to the side. A little bit of chop from the Chakram, as well as a blast from the Seder. Be able to get this tier 1 offlane tower. Fred being slowed out. Maybe it's Secret's turn to make the mistake. Thinking that they could fight that one. Fred's going to lose his life as he's inevitably slowed down and right-clicked apart. Arrow nails on the Witch Doctor, but nothing's going to come of it. Flipside Tactics, very big win here, but never mind. Flipside, they're going to guard Roger. As he's nailed by the arrow, they make sure there's no opportunity for Secret to find a pick. Secret is still going to try and force this one. They don't have the Tidehunter just yet. So Shotchlo is going to be the target here. Has a Timber Chain up in one more second. They've already TP'd one here off. That's a draw Ranger gone from this fight. So this is free reign for Secret to get as many picks. Nice bounce there from the Shuriken. He's going to be able to stop a couple of TPs. Roger goes down as well as Vanscore's Witch Doctor. That's going to be two track kills for Secret. Again, a small error from Flipside bleeds gold to the Secret team. Yeah, you really can't give up track kills like that. Um, looks like Flipside wants to take this fight, knowing that the Pano doesn't have her eggs yet. Even though Tide has Ravage, it's a little bit risky, but healing ward is not at least. Bodyguard Seder, all oh, but a Ravage, nails four, three grouped up, and they just wipe through almost all of them. Tame My Wild will be able to tank most of it, though, with a Haste Rune. He managed to get away. MP is the target, but the Invis is actually helping him out. The Moonlight Shadow manages to help MP dodge enough damage to stay alive. Shotslow. Last one left for Flipside inside the fight. He'll go down, and it only cost them a Wisp. Dragonite, the lone survivor. Fighting Crete. Oh, Pylod Dye is going to be the target here. Does have a tether, but doesn't actually get enough distance to zip away. They will manage to nail him with the Paralyzing Cast. Moonlight Shadow buys him some time. Is he actually going to be able to get away? Relocate, silence, but it's not good enough. He'll relocate out, come back in in a few seconds, but he may not be dead. It looks like Secret... They're going to set up some sort of rescue mission here, maybe, for the Wisp. Fred's going to be able to come in. He's got the Blink Dagger ready to go. Waiting out for the Ravage. Looks like he got stunned by Tame My Wild and won't be able to get off a Ravage right away. In fact, he's silenced now by Seedoy. They've lost. Again, initiation is a bit lacking on their corner. They could still lose this fight against Ferev with his Blink Dagger Ravage ready to go. Snatches a haste rune away from Tame My Wild. Ferev's got mobility for days now. Chakum comes out, does a good amount of damage. Silence misses, though. And now Ferev, it looks like he sees his opportunity. He's going to run straight into all of these heroes. Hits the four, man. Marana right there on the side. Goes straight for Cedoy, but the heals come through. The sustain from Flipside wins out. And now it looks like Secret is forced to back away until MP comes in. The Timbersaw overextends himself. He goes down. Roger looks for the kill on MP, can't quite get it. MP makes his way around the trees. Tame my wild. Meanwhile, his ultimate now run out is going to be an ineffective core for this fight. Tries to TP away, barely makes it away. Cedoy, caught by MP, is brought low by the Omni Slash. That's three down from Flipside in this fight. And certainly help, but they are going to be scouted out here. The arrow nailing Roshan, giving Flipside a... Nice little time to be able to hit him. Oh, Relocate actually going to come straight onto the Dragonite, but he's got the Blink, so he will stay ahead of this attempted jump here from Secret. They spin right in, though. Freb, he may not have the Ravage, but he's right in Cedoy's face. Does manage to get that kill with the help of MP. Vanscore lays out the Death Ward. They go for the Wisp, but he gets relocated out of the fight just in time. Roger, meanwhile, he's dead, and so is his Creep Army. Midwan makes short work of that one. Shashlo zips on through, but straight into four heroes, and he doesn't have any backup. He's just a goner. Three already gone from Flipside as they attempt to go for the Roshan, scouted out by the Marana Arrow and Secret. Flipside Tactics not going to give up just yet. Looks like they're going to try and catch mid one here. Vanscore was hiding in the trees, but he doesn't actually manage to get a paralyzing cast out. mid one hit himself away, but won't be able to make the blink out. Shotcho's here. Does manage to get some damage out on a mid one He's just getting distance for a blink dagger. Not able to do it just yet. Two more seconds. Chakram juked away. mid one almost makes it out, but no. He loses that Aegis. Can they get him a second time? Cedoy ready to go. Uh, leap. Blink out. TP and mid one. Looks like he's good. Pilot Eye. He came in, thought he needed to help the Marana, but actually just is going to give Flipside a free kill. In the meantime, they did manage to get the Dragonite. Here comes Rev. He killed the Dragonite. He's here for even more. He's got Flipside down with three. And Shotsla with the TP out. Manta is barely makes it away from the physical damage, but foreseeable future. Yeah, the bounty with a Crimson Guard now is also massively mitigating the Drow's damage. Arrow nails him, and all the sustain in the world from that Voodoo Restoration won't be able to get him that kill. He'll get a little bit more to Roger, yet another track kill. Going to Team Secret as they pick apart Flipside one by one. Massive wave spit now, so...
Going to be able to clip a whole lot of the heroes, just continue to help them chase them down the track. Flipside struggling to stop the bleeding here. They're going to try and come in with Tame My Wild to make the jump, but with Marana making her entrance straight into the Dura Ranger, burst her down with the magic damage. And now they're even pursuing into the Tier 3 Tower. MP, he's got the Omni Slash ready to go, and he sees those track kills available for him. Witch Doctor turns around, tries to throw out the Death Ward, but it's his death that comes apart as that ward does very little as the Omni Slash brings him down. Shotslow deep. Past the tier four towers, Team Secret will claim him too. Team by Wild can't even make it back to the base. He's going to be caught by the gush. Tempts to armlet toggle, but no such luck. Team Secret, white flip side inside their own base at 27 minutes and force flip side into an early GG. Yeah, their they had their lineup was it was able to win this game. It was hard. They had to execute well and play very very clean but a couple mistakes early on, that tri-lane giving up the death, 